How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel today. We have the 2024 GMC back in the shop for some twin turbos. Uh, basically we've been running the truck in a for the last few weeks, making sure all the bugs and everything are worked out on it. And uh, our on three performance uh, turbos that we're going to be putting on this truck to uh, start making a kit for these. This body style trucks is here and uh, we're going to go over everything here in a second. But let's check out these turbos from on three performance. These are very budget friendly turbo. You can basically get a pair of these things for less than 1500 bucks. Um, they work well. We use them on a lot of the Ford stuff. These are 66, 67s and I think they'll work perfect for the truck. So we got these here and then open up. V-band flange, got the oil drain, and these are non-oilless turbos. These do have oil got all the flanges that came with them there, which is cool. So we'll get this out of the wrapper and see what it looks like. So we got the turbos out of the wrapper. These things are actually really nice. We got V-band exhaust housing there, which we got the clamp in there for those. Um, and then these things will fit really nice up next to the transmission bell housing where we're gonna put these turbos at on this truck. We'll put a uh, scavenge pump on there. And I think, uh, Curtis, what do you think these things will make for power about 1100, 1200? Yeah, they don't, I mean, they're good for 750, 800 each. Oh, nice. Yeah, so guys, if you're wanting like a budget friendly turbo that performs well, these on three performance turbos are them. They had these in stock and I had them basically called them a couple days ago and now they are here. So quick shipping. And it's actually a really nice looking turbo. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. We do have the 1996 truck in here. I bought this truck back in December and we're actually switching some things over. We're putting some different wheels on there. These are Raceline. These are 22 inch wheels. And then we got some 20s in the front. Obviously guys, it's up on the rack right now. It does sit much lower than this, but we are gonna go ahead and put Little Shop uh, 16 inch front brakes on it. And we have some custom 13 inch brakes that are going on the back. So it'll be full disc brakes. Oh yeah, Steve's gonna there set down go. the ground for us. <laughs> Holy crap, man, that wheel is in there. He's riding good. Jeez Louise. Gonna look good with the brakes behind it. Yeah, it'll look good with the brakes on there. This truck is clean, ain't it, Steve? Oh yeah. This is Super the clean. this is the nicest one we've had come in here that's stock. Yeah, for sure. But this truck is is all factory paint. It's got twenty thousand original miles on it. I did a full video on this several videos back. You can look back in the videos, but we did a full video when we got this thing delivered. This is a nineteen ninety seven. It's got gray interior in it, and like I said, guys, we're putting the race lines on there. These are the wheels that were on it. it had some chrome torque thrust twos. We are going to be putting these on the other red truck. We're going to be lowering that truck and putting these wheels on that one. So these wheels are not for sale. So no one bug me. I'm keeping these wheels. Um, but I think those race lines for this caliber of a truck fit the truck a lot better. Those are billet wheels and they look fantastic. And especially with the big brakes on the back, it's going to look just killer. But I mean, look at the, look at the stance. Look at that. Riding low, boys. Riding low. We are working on the red truck. I just got back from Streetcar Takeover Atlanta. Then I had to drive down to Florida to drop my truck off to pick up uh, the R8 later this week. But uh, just got back. Steve's been working on the red truck, which I showed you guys right before we left, uh, just while I go on the video. And uh, new week, and Steve is just thrashing on this thing. But I just want to show you guys where we're at on this. We're putting little shop brakes on it, so it's going pretty good. Here's what we got so far. So Steve's getting this converted from a drum to a disc. We were just putting 13 inch uh, Willwood rear brakes on this thing. Uh, they're not like super huge, but definitely way better than yeah. what was on there with the <laughs> drums. And uh, this kit has the e-brake shoes and everything with it. So that's what he's doing right now, getting the backing plates on. You do have to pull the rear cover when you do these disc brakes because the backing plates have to go on behind the axle flange. So you have to pull the axles out and then put yeah. the backing plates on yeah, we just pull the whole and whole, reinstall. Pull the whole drum assembly off as a one piece. Yep. Low miles. Low miles, yeah, 20,000 miles. And then the front, uh, we went with the factory spindles on this kit and then on the little shop kit, it gives you a template and you cut the 
yep. cut the factory spindles down. You can cut your stock ones or these are the Beltec right. two-inch drop, I think. Right. Yeah, Which we wanted to keep the, the ride height the exact same on Yeah, yeah. Because it was perfect. Um, and then this is the ABS sensor that's on the newer OBS trucks. Yep. And you made it work. five and up. You made yeah. it work with Normally the, it's like the whole dust right. shield. So I trimmed it down. That way, it, the, that way we have ABS. Yeah, yeah. No we ABS just, lights. Uh, yeah, I just pulled the old ones off the stock rotors and they machine the little shop hubs to accept it if your truck does have ABS. These are super nice. This is the same brakes we use on our ZL ZR1500 truck builds. So it's good stuff. Yeah, little shop. And, and then nice the, about the other wheels is it covers it all up. Yeah, the race line wheels, the center caps oh, yeah. cover those uh, little shop brakes, the hubs. These are the yeah. race line wheels we're going to be putting on. These are 22s in the back, and then we got 20s in the front. A lot of you guys always ask, you know, what size tires and everything. Well, I'm going to, these are a 295 3022 on the back, and then we got a 255 3520 on the front. And I believe these are. 22 by 10s in the back and 20 by 9s in the front so that gives you guys the sizes there these things fit perfect again these are race line these are billet wheels pretty cool nice wheels and they're light they are light they're yeah light. we did notice that so we'll let steve get to continue working on this thing but i just wanted to show you guys just how clean this truck is because it is absolutely very nice amazing we have not detailed this thing this is how we got it and it is i think it had the original diff fluid in it, it oh kind of dark i'm sure it probably <laughs> did steve it's awesome but we're changing that out we'll get some new diff fluid in there oh, yeah. i'm also going to get a bumper for the back we'll get it painted color matched uh get rid of the roll pan i'm not a big roll pan fan yeah i do like how this guy painted the like outer ring of the taillights the border, yeah. it's pretty cool got rid of the black kind of makes them look fancier than what they are yeah man this thing is just incredibly clean and this belt tech kit's been on here for a while that's the old belt tech logo yeah <laughs> yeah match the front i bet it's been on there probably since the truck was new yeah. this truck's been a sport truck its whole life yeah and they trimmed this so i don't know if maybe this is different from how they make it now oh yeah that's true man it's so nice it's got like some protectors for the you've never seen those. Yeah, those are a new thing. Yeah. Just add it in there. Yeah. For sure. All right. Got Nemo over here. Justin's been messing with Nemo on the tune. It's basically ready to go. We do have a throttle hanging issue that we're trying to find, and I, I think it's something to do with the, the cold side. We had the cold side off when we had this bumper off, so I think it's definitely something to do with that. Definitely don't want to run away throttle when we're racing this thing. And then we got the old GMC over here. Cam's working on this, trying to get the turbo kit built. I think what we're going to have to do, we already got one turbo mounted down there, but the other side, we're a little tight on room. And then by the time that we have to put a scavenge pump on there and the tank and everything for the oil to drain, I think that everything's going to be too low. So we're going to work on relocating the battery, relocating some of this stuff over here, and we're going to put the turbo boom, boom. We got plenty of room over here. And I think that's going to be our best plan of attack. Going back to our original plan. with how Going back to the original plan. Yeah. And then that way we don't have to run a scavenge pump. Right. All that crap. There's there's a lot of extra we know with, with putting the turbos down that we won't need now. And exhaust will go just like we wanted to originally as well. And yeah. Yeah, I think it'll just save a whole bunch. I actually, I have both of them up there. Uh, the turbos, I can lift it up if you want to. We'll check so, it out. Yeah. So low. Might as well check it out. Yeah. We're no one has done a twin turbo kit on one of these new body trucks yet. So we're just trying to uh trying to do something that no one else has yet. And we're finding out that it's uh it's pretty tough. Pretty tight fit in here. They they shrunk these engine bays on these trucks. You guys, these new vehicles, it's always something, something different, something stupid that they've changed. But uh, we're going to make something work here and make it a really nice kit. And this truck is its going to run when we're all finished with it. It's going to be a really nice truck. All right, so here you guys can see a little bit of what we're talking about. See how low these turbos are right now? That is... Uh, and this one's even lower because, I mean, it's yeah. like a quarter inch yeah. room on the drive shaft. Yeah, we're just not going to be able to... Not, not going to work. Those oil fittings are just... 
it's way too low. And you see, we we have to there to be okay, yeah. but yeah. I mean, that still isn't enough. To, no. Yeah. Well, to the top we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look cooler too. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's tight down here. Well, it's sure. officially twin turboed, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, can't, we can't deny that. Yeah. All right, we got the rear wheel woods on. These are a 13-inch kit. They uh, basically custom-made these for us. I don't know if they're available on their website, but these uh, are available uh, through Little Shop. These are, you can run down to a 15-inch wheel on these, and we already I already had this kit for the other truck that I have, and uh, bought a nine-inch for that one, so it already came with brakes, so we're just using those brakes on this truck. Anything beats the drums. brakes on Steve's working on the front front hubs right now yeah just having to grind these down a little bit yeah. I think they put shorter ones in the Tahoe hubs knowing that they have ABS oh because I looked on the Tahoe the bolts sit in Ooh. lower not a big deal you can still take them out but to clear the ABS sensor yeah makes sense He's talking about this right here, guys. That's not on a lot of trucks until you get to the newer ones. I believe it's 96 and newer. Those are not painted. That's just the actual freaking wheel liner. <laughs> That's what's nuts. This is another crazy thing here, guys. You can still see the factory paint on these mounts, which that never happens. Literally, that is insane. Golly. Yeah, underneath looks like... We have we have cars that are a year old that don't even come here this clean, Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow. This is a good one. Not really a lick of rust on anything. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. I'm not crazy about the exhaust. Yeah. Kind of their own thing they did. Yeah. Maybe we can have Cam whip yeah. something up nice for it. Yeah. Shoot like the Tahoe. Yeah. But it's got a single. For some reason on the trucks. It was like a dual outlet flange. That's yeah. why they did that. On the newer ones, on the Vortex. Yeah. Well, like different between the trucks and the Tahoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, The yeah. Tahoe has a single Y pipe. Yeah. Only marks on the frame are just from where it's had lifts on it its whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, though, guys. That is just crazy. Huh. Here's a look. Got the hubs on. See, we got the ABS ring there. Then this is why we had to cut the spindle which we've showed this on our ZR15, ZL1500 truck builds. Uh, the beginning ones, the first couple ones, we did these spindles. They're the stock. These are the Beltec drop spindles, which is like a stock one. And you have to cut those ears off. And then this bolts to it. And then the caliper actually bolts to this bracket here from Willwood. Steve's getting the rotors put together. These are two-piece rotors. Uh, this is a Willwood part. This middle part is a billet little shop part that adapts it to the OBS bolt pattern. They're all black now, but as soon as you hit the brakes, it wears the black paint off, but it makes everything else black, which yeah. is really cool. So the only part that's not black is the part that the pad touches, which is pretty nice. And the back rotors are the same way. Looks good. Really clean. Caliper's bigger than these two. Big old rotors. 16 inch on the front, 13 inch in the back. Big difference. Time to get them all shimmed up. There they are. Make it easy to change the pads so you just pull these pins out and the pads just, you can just slide them out and pop new ones in. Don't even have to take the caliper off, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Gonna walk down to our fab area and see how Cam is doing on the 24 GMC. Supposedly he's got the turbos in their location. We'll check it out. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. Way better than being down there. So we got the turbos mounted up now. You can see here, pipe basically goes out of the manifold, loops around, and then comes right up here into the turbo, which looks really good. Yeah, that's a much better spot for the turbos. Heck yeah. Down pipes are gonna go straight down. Obviously, angle then down. We're gonna have to move some wiring harnesses and some hoses and stuff, but we'll get it all moved out of the way. And then uh, we'll put an intake on here. Haven't decided what intake we're gonna do yet, but it'll be a pretty cool looking setup once we get all powder coated and looking good. Intercooler says it got delivered last week, but it's not here. So I'm gonna go check at the place next door when they open tomorrow and see if our intercooler showed up. But if it did, intercooler is gonna go right there behind there and uh cold side will be really simple because all we're doing is going from basically we're going to go right through there and then a cooler on that side and then same deal over here just go right in and then we'll have the outlets go right back out into the engine bay which will work out really good all right here she is got it back home on the lift where it basically lives got the Got the big wheel woods on there now and the race lines. These things are really good looking wheels. The rears, those, those little 13 inch brakes that look so small on there, but these are 22s on the back. And man, they look incredible. This truck looks really good. I got a bumper coming for it. Uh, we're gonna get that paint match. And then I got some factory uh, side moldings too. I'm gonna try those on there and see how it looks with the side moldings with the the red 1500 emblems on the side kind of give it that OE look. But as you can see, the wheels and tires are not an OE look, but it looks looks really good. I love the way this thing stands. I love the way that back tire tucks on there. I think it turned out good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Next up, got the old red truck pulling in. This is a 1994 Chevy Silverado, of course. It's got 70,000 miles. It's a one owner truck. I've had this thing for about a year and a half now, and it is beautiful. Oh, still. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's all stock. We're going to put a Beltec lowering kit on this thing and the chrome wheels that came off the other red truck. Put some sport mirrors on it, and that's it. That's all we're going to do to this thing. It is in pristine shape and being from Arizona this thing has zero rust underneath of it looks really good look at the shine on that factory paint tan bucket seat interior what do you think about that interior that's the best I like this one. that's been the best interior that yeah. we've had love that tan bucket interior reminds me of that uh, black 454 truck yeah. Same interior. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Probably not nope. And this truck will be for sale through me. I'm gonna fix these headlights. The turn signal lights are kind of faded a little bit over the years, but the paint is just in really, really good shape. Really happy with how the paint looks on this. And it's all original paint. Underneath the hood's really nice on this one too. Just a really clean suspension. See, it's got no rust on anything just because it was in Arizona its whole life. This truck's actually cleaner than a lot of trucks we see with less than 10,000 miles on it. That will do it for today's video. We will have the 94 Chevy project on the next video, as well as some more updates on the twin turbo 24 GMC that we are building at the shop right now. I cannot wait for that truck to get done. And then also we have some really exciting news here in Kansas city. We have a brand new drag strip opening this Thursday, and it is a brand new from ground up quarter mile drag strip. That is just state of the art. So now we have a drag strip 20 minutes down the road from Killer Performance, our shop, to test at, take the cars. When we finish the project, we can go straight to the drag strip now. 
Uh, so it's going to be a very good asset for the channel coming up this year. And we're going to have a lot of exciting videos coming for you as far as racing stuff goes. We'll be taking Nemo first to the track, and then we are going to run Sunday in a no prep race with the ZR1. So got a lot of cool stuff coming. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you later.